Hello everyone, I'm going to tell you a bit about the GIMP motion software which is coming along. I'll do this in two parts. In this video I'll talk only about the basic animation features. So let's have a white canvas and I will draw a character. And seeing this I'm sure you're happy I'm not the one drawing the mammoth. That's my drawing skill. Okay, let's just do like four, four images. It's like a working character. So you will find this plugin in the same place as the old one. Maybe I should change this, but for now that's what it is. Um, well, okay, the basic things are just, it's a playback, okay? And uh, here are some features, for example, proxy, if you want to load less in memory, as you can see here, it's low quality, so less in memory and faster rendering and everything, but for this, Small example, it doesn't really matter. You can change the frame rate. Okay, it looks a little wrong here because uh, the screencast has been sped up afterwards. Basically, you can choose any frame rate you wish, not just the list which is shown, just uh, the common frame rates. Anyway, I'll keep the 24 frames per second here. So by default, it's like six frames per panel. So. And like, okay, let's increase the second panel. As you see, it increases the duration of the wall animation. So maybe like more than 30 frames for this panel. And oh, you see the second image now stays longer. Uh, you can also jump to positions just by uh, clicking on, on the progress. So. Now my second image, let's say um, I want to put the arm here at the mouse and, and like um, question mark because Kara is thinking. When it, so you can see, you won't see it. That's a current limitation of GIMP. GIMP code doesn't signal plugins when it has changes. So you have to update like this and now you see. Um, okay, that's nice. Now it has this small surface. So what's this option here? I, I will show it now. So rather than writing directly on the panel, let's say you want to, you want to add like uh, a layer here, uh, transparent runs this one. And like you add the arm on, on this transparent layer and like a second one now and you add the question mark. So let's refresh and you see you have this, which is not what you want obviously. Like it just, you know, we are with just one arm and one question mark and okay. So, the, so that's what this option is, is for. We'll see. Now I click here and then it um, blend it with a previous panel. Basically the source of a blending, I added it to have, the, it's a GIF like feature uh, such as we had before already. So now this so, so you can here write it's it's free text uh, fields so you can just write it's for comments basically when you make a storyboard you just comment some specific panels say like music will start here or you want to describe a little more what kind of camera action is going or whatever it's it's for you you, you write it and it will be saved next time you open. Um, the, this animation and so finally you can just export your stuff so let's go and I will export like a, a video move file hello world dot move exports and now I can see this it's yeah nothing particular. You can also export image sequences. For instance, let's export every frame as PNG images. This is much useful to further edit in another nonlinear video editor. And in this case, it's, it's much better to have frame, each frame as a separate image. And maybe la later you can have WebP images, GIF images from here. So here is another example, a real example of uh, 
from our movie is a mammoth and you can see okay it's it's it has a lot of panels and and basically the right the storyboard and on the left it's the animatic so you can get a direct autom immediate animatic from your storyboard as you write it and that's basically it so all the code is public and available on, on this branch of the official gimp repository wip slash animation there is no gimp release yet with this plugin but you can build it if you have the capacity so that's it for the first part which is very basic animation stuff i remind we are on patreon and on tp where you can fund the mammoth project to improve gimp and produce a very nice animation film make the mammoth happy thank you very much everybody see you soon